morning welcome back to our channel so today in this video i'll be sharing you builder design pattern in java so taking a real time example that uh, like in which scenario in my project i have created a builder pattern like based on the builder design pattern i have created an object so i'll be explaining that uh, using an xps before that uh, whenever like this is one of the important interview question so you can go or you can define the builder design pattern as like this like if you go with the bookish uh, definition uh, it is a separate like builder pattern aims to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation so that the same construction process can create different representations so basically what that means is using multiple blocks like multiple objects we create one super object so using the same different objects we can create one more object as well so that is what it says so and one more definition is builder patterns builds a complex object using a simple objects and using a step by step procedure and this comes under creational pattern so that's it about it so let me take the real time example so i have so in my project uh, basically a scenario was there like, like uh, if you are from a healthcare domain you might be knowing about claims so in the claims processing uh, process now we were asked to create a calculator so this was having some close to like 70 to 75 uh, fields inside it out of which few were primitive few were object references and few were mandatory few were optionals so i am taking uh, a few from that class and i'll be trying to explain that uh, trying to explain the design pattern builder design pattern so let me create few uh, get string what was the first claim id and this was a mandatory required let us go with required field and one more let me copy it will take a lot of time or else oh, private okay three let me go with four mandatory four normal fields low cust id uh, submit date so actually this was the date but i am going with the string here for better explanation what what was submit date and let us go with the amount what was the amount this was long actually but i am still going with. so for our uh, required fields and uh, let me take for non required let me non required So like age was non required address this was non required and was a reference object uh, one more thing was one was limits if there are any limits on the pro ob object so that was this and one more if i want to go or uh, limits okay amount so i'll go with um, phone i can go any value which is optional so oh, no, no, no. or i can give location from where the claim got submitted okay so these were few fields so to create a immutable object for this class uh, so we uh, the requirement was to create an immutable class for this object so for that i have to go with the constructor but there was 70 fields and few were optional and few were mandatory so it really becomes difficult in so in that situation what we'll go is we'll go with builder pattern so here we will be only having uh, what i can say uh, just getters not the setters so just right click 
uh, we can create I think directly getters and setters for final it won't create select all generate yeah only getters will get created and setters won't get created and let us create two string method for this so that while we sys out uh, will we get either error we fact uh, source to string use all fields okay generate so this got generated now if you see it is crying because it has not been initialized so to con to con uh, initialize this we need a builder so let me first create the builder uh, builder class which would be a static class okay public static class or oh, what to name let me name claims builder okay this is the class we got so now i have to have again the same fields here so let me copy paste uh, let me just remove this so we don't want this as final it is a normal it can be updated okay now we got the fields now if you remember we had four uh what to say let me create one constructor we were having four mandatory fields till here claim id cust id submit date and amount so we have to create a constructor claim id string cust id string sub submit date let me break this so that it is in single and last thing is okay, string amount so now i'll be using in i'll be initializing so this dot so claim id equals claim id so then let me start see this for four things so cust id cust id submit date as these are mandatory fields i am initializing them through constructor so what happened claim okay amount and now the other uh, things i'll be having the methods so here ends the constructor public claims builder age age so this is string actually i should have created this first only so we should we would have saved some time this dot h equals h return this so if you know why we are writing return this if you know you comment it out if you don't know this is a homework for you why we have to write that so age is done address 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 limits 
so basically limits you might get confused limits is nothing but any limitations that uh, the claim has like the you know, if you are from healthcare domain you it is very easy to understand just uh, that reference object strike my mind so i have created this so now we have to call the constructor of this class so we have to create private because this is immutable and how to create the constructor claims builder dot builder kya hua re and we have to initialize the all the variables whatever we have inside it so it will take time now this dot claim id equals builder dot claim id so let me copy paste these things so that it could be easy for us copy 1234 custody custody just okay submit it amount h i think you guys might be boring because i should have created this earlier and then i should have created the video okay location is there okay so, yeah this dot location equals builder dot location but if we see what i can do is should be changed copy we need to have okay we have locations so chalo now we require a build method so here comes the magic so let me create a build method public claims constructor would be the return type and build and inside this build i will create i will call the constructor so how to call call to new of this and return cl that's it so this is how the return spelling gale da kya return cl so this is how we have created a builder class so now what benefit we get out of this i'll explain you so claims calculator no let me test so i have so claims calculator k c c equals new claims calculator dot uh, no 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 i don't think so new claims calculator dot claims calculator of the required fields we need to pass here okay let me first build method why it is not coming oh no no games builder claims builder yeah okay now it will stop crying but the four mandatory things we need to pass so first one was 
what was the first one id okay not showing uh what is the first one of the claim builder constructor claim id custody submitted amount okay so claim id so cla we can have hyphen one two three custody we can now sunny one two three submission date zero one zero one twenty twenty one comma amount would be anything five hundred done so now I have the object of address so for the first claim claim got submitted from Hyderabad fine and one more object I have is age 25 okay string uh, 25 so see there were uh, only two we are having only two optional classes so now we are uh, uh, like two optional fields we have we have setting those two optional fields similarly if I create one more claim cc let us rename cc1 cc2 cc1 okay. so claim 1 2 3 claim 7 8 9 yes, sunny let's make johnny uh, so dates can be like anything that we are it doesn't matter so amount we can change to thousand dollars anything so address who name age can be anything then what we have location okay oh address and location both okay location is from where the claim got so claim got submitted from india and what we have limits uh, we can have no limits so see this let us run this and let me print out let us have sys outs okay how what is so let me directly print cc1 cc2 space let me run this yeah we got two objects now this is the super object and don't think this are uh, the like for an example I have created taken as everything as a string but this way in the real time if this were the re reference objects here, so you need to create an unmodified object of that and you need to pass that here as well so if you see whatever we have set those values have been set and others have been set as null so you do if at all builder pat if at all we haven't used builder pattern what we would have done in in this constructor itself sorry in claims calculator constructor itself i would have removed this builder and i would have had all the values and we are making it a mandatory here like if at all we don't have that value i have to pass the value as null right that could have been done but tomorrow again like the combination of objects will keep increasing as we increase the fields inside this object so now if at all suppose assume there is one more field got attached which is not uh, phone number so this is now not a mandatory field so now for this it is very simple directly you can uh, have one more field here string phone and one getter for the phone sorry phone okay phone phone phone
so in one class if i make the change that's it but if at all uh uh in classes are using uh, this uh, claims calculator and they want to build in all those classes wherever this constructor is used i have to go and check if at all i have the phone number or not no for existing classes i don't need to make any changes i can directly create one more object uh, johnny larry i need some value delhi we can take there are no limits now for this object phone is there i'll attach the phone number and if i print this nothing will happen like oh, sorry the uh, third object gets printed so let me run this see now the existing object uh where is the phone number okay two string method i haven't overridden yeah kidar hai two string mein so let me create one new two string method so it's a two string generate so let me save this and now let me run this uh see the phone number for the existing object is null and for the new object uh, we have the phone number so as i am creating this in the same class uh, we may make changes here as well but in the real time scenario it would be a different case you might be using this uh, main complex object somewhere is again you have to make lot of changes so claims build like builder pattern helps us uh, in avoiding uh like setting the mandatory fields whatever fields you have you can ha set it remaining fields will get in charge normally with null so this is about the builder design pattern in java with real time example i hope uh, this might be helpful to at least few and thanks for watching